Alright guys, and today we're sort of our FIFA 13 career mode series with Chesterfield and in this episode we do have some January transfer window action so you're going to see that later on and um, see what players we buy, see what players we sell you know, all that sort of stuff so anyway, in this first game against Port Vale uh, King here, a nice header and that makes it 1-0 in the ninth minute which luckily that went in I wouldn't expect out of anyone uh, King to get the goal but luckily he did and like I said that made it 1-0 in the ninth minute, which unfortunately, that is the only goal that actually happened that game. So unfortunately, ended one nil. And also in this episode, guys, just to keep you interested, we do have a squad report as well as the transfers. Um, in the squad report, you also get to see players like um, Lee going up in overall. I think everyone's gone up except from like the odd. I think it's like five players that haven't gone up in overall. So um, it's a pretty unfortunate um, day. Couldn't go up as well. But like I say, uh, players have actually done well to go up in overall. But you'll see here, we tried to clear it once, and the second time we couldn't clear it out, and so luckily they got a goal, and I made it 1-0 to them, and I said the game ended as well, again, highest rating 7.2, didn't perform well that game. Um, this game here, we go against, I think it's Aldershot Town, um, yeah, Aldershot Town, going to this game now, and um, what also I'm going to recommend guys is I'm going to try, and um, try doing another series alongside of this, so... Uh, what I try to do maybe is a player ultimate team, uh, ultimate team player road to glory. So if you don't know what it is, I'm going to quickly explain. Is I pick you know like a random player that's high rated, you know, probably like maybe an inform or just a normal high rated player, and then I'll play that and I'll put him in a bronze team. And, you know, you'll work up the ranks and build a good team around him. So I'm going to think of doing something like that, and also a series where I let's just say get some ultimate team gameplay or head to head in the background, put that in the background, and then just suggest the topic. Um, well, not suggest a topic, but get people to suggest some topics, and I'll just talk about my, you know, say views and points on them, and so you guys get to learn more about my personality and stuff like that. Because I feel like the viewers, um, obviously, uh, you lot will enjoy my videos more if you know more about me. You're trying to see where I'm coming from. Um, if you know what I'm like and like the personality, you'll, you'll enjoy the videos a lot more. So I'm going to try and do those two as well as career mode, because doing career mode all the time, I think people get quite bored. Put a bit of variety, still the same game, bit of variety, people enjoy it. Anyway, uh, Northampton, a good in six game. Last time we played them, I think we beat them like 5-2, I think it was, yeah, 5-2. And anyway, Azo getting two goals there to beat them 2-0, which wasn't too bad, actually. Um, this was last game, before January, and this was against York City. I thought I'd sim this one as well, um, see what we get. And look, unluckily to get a, get a yellow card, but like I say, we win 4-0. King, two goals, Bolden and Azo. Zog seems to pick up the goals when I sim the game. You know what I'm trying to say? We get a manager offer there for this team, and I've never even heard of the team before. And obviously, I'm not going to go to that team, I'm going to stay of our team. Um, here, Tommy Lee getting some requests. We're going to reject all them, because he's playing right well. Um, for this league, he seems to be saving a lot of goals. He doesn't seem to be bad at all, so I'm going to try to keep him. Because he's only 26, and goalkeepers don't really retire till you know, late 30s, so we're going to keep him, he'll do his fine, unless maybe we get to um, the Prem and we might have to buy a new goalkeeper, it depends what his overall will be by then. Um, here we have some players that we're going to go out and uh, put to the transfer list or even on loan, uh, we put our scout star on loan as well, because we feel like, you know, he's going to do better out on loan than here, even though I, I usually play him, I can get him out on loan even better, if I have to play him and keep him, not too bad at all. Um, also, you guys, you're probably thinking, um, this scout star wasn't as good as it could be. Uh, do you want me to buy another scout star? Because I can buy another one. I've got like two left to buy, so I could probably buy one more. See if we actually get an outfield player. I'm thinking centre mid, someone like you know uh, Wilshire, Mario Goetz, or someone you know scout star like that, that are young and are high overall. So I'm thinking maybe we can do another one. And maybe we got to try and get a centre mid. But you can get um, scouts anyway, so maybe next season when we start, we we'll actually get some money. Obviously not that much, but you know, money to start actually with. We could probably do some scouts then. So we're going to have a look then when we start next season. Uh, we're going to that game, we win 2-0. Um, this CDM, um, I spent a long time looking for some players. I didn't include it all because I felt like it wasn't needed. But this CDM, I decided, right, you know, he's got work rates, medium, medium. So he can play cam, he can play CDM, which is not too bad. So... When our cam and centre mid get tired, he's going to play. Um, I offered two grand because he was a free agent, so I thought, well, if I offer that, he might join, but you'll see later on that doesn't go to plan. Uh, we beat that team there 5-0 with Richard coming on getting a goal and all that sort of stuff. And we get a transfer here for Mark Allot, who, you know, look at the, look at them. I, just don't, I didn't like him, so I sold him. 
uh, you know, a little bit of money, not too bad. So, anyway guys, that's the end of the episode, so I hope you enjoyed, and if you did, leave your comments down below, and I'll see you all in the next episode guys, so thank you all for watching.